All right, friends, this technique called underpainting was made popular, I would say again, by Mary Phillips, lovely makeup artist who does Hailey Bieber, Kendall Jenner, and Jennifer Lopez. But for me, someone that is 41 and has been in this business for a while, this guy is the OG for me, Scott Barnes, who used to call it Snatural because it's like snatch but natural. And that's this whole concept of doing the heavy contouring and concealing prior to doing the rest of your makeup. It looks really good and I'm gonna show you the way I do it. I'm starting off with my favorite cream contour stick. This is from Persona Cosmetics in the shade Sahara. This color is so gorgeous for brown skin. And again, this technique is so great, especially if you're intimidated by contouring because you will be left with no harsh lines. Then I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer in the shade Sugar Biscuit. I like a fuller coverage concealer and using a lighter base. So I'm not gonna use a full coverage foundation to bring this look together. I'm gonna use a skin tint, as you will see. And I also like to go almost half a shade lighter for my concealer, nothing more, because I just feel like it suits me. Then I'm blending everything out and you'll see that what this look really achieves is just a more seamless airbrush subtle look. So I'm gonna blend out the concealer. And then this is the part that Mary Phillips comes in and I think I absolutely love this part of her technique. I'm going in with the Pixi H2O Skin Tint in the shade Nude, which I love right now. I'm taking a large fluffy brush, which is what she uses. And this is really going to help give you that flawless airbrush look. And you can see on this side, it just looks seamless and really subtle, no harsh lines. I just have that natural glow. And this is the finished look. Let me know what you think. I'm just going to prep my skin with the Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. And I'm also just using this as my primer. My absolute favorite makeup technique at the moment is underpainting. Since I started doing this technique, I've been using way less foundation. So the outcome to me is more natural. This Pat McGrath foundation has been my absolute favorite lately. This consistency is so lightweight and just doesn't really feel like you're even wearing any foundation. Now with my Milk Bronzer Stick, I'm just going over my contour. lightly filling in my brows with my NYX Black Brow Definer. And if it 24 hour brow if you need something that's going to lock your eyebrows into place and not budge this is the product i'm going to create an ombre effect with my blush first one that i am going to use is bliss this is from rare beauty i pick it up with my brush and i'm just going to place it just on the apples of my cheeks next is happy also from rare beauty with the shade i'm just going to place this kind of higher up this one is a more of a brighter pink it kind of gives like an ombre effect i've been using tarte shape tape for the past eight years and it never fails. So instead of actually putting the concealer here, I'm just gonna take what's left on the sponge and dab in that area. Just setting our under eyes, I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Cupcake Powder in a powder puff and I always tap off the excess. Then I go in and set the under eyes. Lightly dusting this Charlotte Tilbury powder all over my face. I've talked about this powder so many times. This is one of my all-time favorites. Going in with my third blush now, this is Kylie Pink Power. This shade on my complexion, it's a really soft baby pink. It just completes the blush. My all-time favorite eyeshadow a look is always just going to be something very warm and very bronze so i'm just going to use this too faced natural nudes palette i'm using the brown shades putting this in my crease adding the medium brown shade to my outer edge i have been loving using this dior face glow palette as eyeshadow shimmers i take this darker brown and i'm just going to put it on the center of my lid with the gold that is going on my inner corner adding a soft brown wing. I'm gonna take it all across my eye. This one of my iconic London liquid illuminator. And apply this to the bridge of my nose. Use the bottom side of my sponge. Apply it on the high points of my cheeks. Curling my lashes now. Rare Beauty Mascara. I cut the Ardell 420 lashes in half and use them as a half lash and it is literally the perfect lash. It's so easy to apply. Every time I wear this lip combo, I get so many compliments. The lip liner is NYX New Truffle. I'm definitely not shy with lip liner. This lipstick is Penelope Pink from Charlotte Tilbury and I just like to add it in the center and I like to sheer out. Topping it off with Fenty Hot Chocolate Gloss Balm Heat. Okay, the last clip didn't record, but I set with the Morphe setting spray. Hey guys, this is the final look. This glam never fails me. Hi, I'm Mary Phillips. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite techniques, underpainting, using all Lancome products. I'm gonna start with the contour. I'm gonna use the Tinty Doll All Over Concealer in a color two to three shades deeper than her natural color. You always wanna place it like under the cheekbones, under the jawline, so it just sculpts the face. Just go down the sides of her nose a bit. This is gonna be her concealer highlight shade. So around the nose, we all get a little pink there. You always kind of want to go in an upward direction because that's the way we want our faces to go. This foundation's great. It's a medium coverage, but you can build up to full, and it just goes on so smooth, creating the perfect complexion. I love the Lash Edol Mascara. It's lifting and volumizing. It gives her lashes a real bold and fanned out look. I love underpainting, but just kind of like sculpts the face.
do all these makeup looks have in common? They all have the under blushing makeup technique. I'm gonna show you about under blushing. Well, what's under blush? I have no beauty filter. I'm gonna first go in with my foundation and I'm gonna put that all over my skin. These two photos, both same technique, under blushing. Patrick Ta usually makes it a wet look. Makeup by Ariel on Kylie Jenner usually makes it a matte look. I'm gonna do Kylie Jenner on this side, Patrick Ta on this side, Rare Beauty, Persona, anything would work, baby pink. I'm just gonna start applying straight the blush on my cheeks. Now Kylie Cosmetics on, oh, Kylie Cosmetics is pigmented. Except I want you to start concealing like you regularly would. It already looks Photoshopped. Look at it, look at how blurred it looks. Then they bake both sides. If you prefer powder puff, bake with that. Are the same techniques for both sides. Now I'm just gonna take that bake off, but this is where Ariel and Patrick go separate ways. Kylie Jenner look, Ariel takes Winter Kiss by Kylie Cosmetics and it's a powder matte blush and he'll go on top of that. I'm no Kylie Jenner, but just compare the cheeks only, okay? Not the rest of the face, but do you see that? The Patrick Ta side, you take the same cream side again, put it on your beauty blender and then roll it, roll it on top. Pacha Dewy Exciting Spray on top of that cream. Look at the Patrick Ta side and look at what me and you created. Oh my God, do I not look like I had a celebrity makeup artist do my ditch me, try this out. I want to see how you do it.